In James 1, we're going to see here, these are a people that deceive themselves. They deceive themselves. They think, oh man, we got it made, right? We've got all this stuff, we've got all these riches, but they really don't. They, they really are miserable. They're really wretched and poor and blind and naked. But they think, because they have these riches, that they are so well off. They're just tricking, they're just deceiving themselves. That's all it is. We've got the truth telling us one thing, but you want to deceive yourself with the riches of this world. And when you go back to the, to the parable of the sower, it talks about people who are deceived by the riches of the world. That that's one of the people that, that they end up not producing fruit and not doing anything because the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of the riches just draw them away so that they don't end up serving God. James 1, verse number 22, the Bible reads, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. These are the people, they're showing up to church, they're hearing God's word, but they're not doing it. And this is a problem in most churches today, that's making them lukewarm, is that they may be hearing God's word. They may have someone standing behind a pulpit and reading the word of God, although even that, it's like you might hear one verse these days, as opposed to actually getting into the word of God and studying the word of God and preaching the word of God. And you got people just preaching their own opinions, but I digress. Again, another thing, it's another cause of this problem. People need to be not only hearing the word of God, you got to hear the word of God. If you're not even hearing the word of God, then good luck. Not only hearers, but doers of the word. Doers, you got to do something with it. If you're not, you're just deceiving yourself. You're tricking yourself. Yeah. It's one thing in your head to say, oh yeah, I believe that, I agree with that. It's another thing to live by it and to walk in the way, not just assent to it in your mind that, oh yeah, that's right. Verse number 23, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. So he's like, look, it's like looking in the mirror at your face. Verse 24, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So when you look at yourself in a mirror, you're going to be able to see all the problems, all the imperfections. You're going to see the state that you're in, right? The good, the bad, everything. You can look in a mirror and you'll be able to see, oh man, no, I got, I got all this hair growing out of my nose. This is me looking in the mirror, right? Hair growing out of my ears and all this stuff. And I got to deal with all these different things. And, um, or you've got some big boil or blister, whatever. I've got all these different things I'm looking at. And I'm like, hey, but there's still some hair that's not gray. It's cool. But um, whatever it is that you see in the mirror, you know, when you go and you just say, oh, okay, great. And then you just walk away. You just forget everything that you saw. Those are the people who are the hearers of the word and not the doers. See, you can see it, but if you don't do anything about these problems that you're seeing, nothing changes. Right? I mean, I, I know it's real simple. <laughs> but if you just hear God's word, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's a sin. Oh, okay, yeah. But then you don't do anything about it. See, the Bible will shine the light on you personally. When we go through this book, if it doesn't today, maybe it will next week. If it doesn't next week, it'll do the week. You know, at some point, you're going to come across something where you've got this, this word of God as this big mirror. And I'm going to be up here reading the Word of God and preaching the Word of God, and it's going to shine on you, and you're going to be like, oh, oh, man. Ooh, I'm guilty of that. Oh, God doesn't like that? Hmm. And you'll hear it here. You'll see it like the glass. But if you don't do anything about it, if you just walk out of here and just go on with your life and do nothing, to change and to improve and to, and to fix what was reflected back on you from the Word of God. You're just a hearer of the Word and not a doer. 